Hi guys, my name is Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. So today I want to talk about the remake of Poltergeist. Um, Poltergeist being a movie from the 80s that has just been remade and it's just been released in cinemas around the world in the last week. So if you guys haven't seen the original, Poltergeist is a movie about a poltergeist. Uh, it's literally a movie about a family that move into a house and there's this strange energy going on and it turns out to be a series of ghosts which are poltergeists. So the remake. Uh, there's lots of remakes this year and I'm sad to say I did not enjoy this one. In my opinion, it seems like it was purely made for 3D viewers, which I'm not a fan of. I don't really go to the cinema and watch 3D movies. Not that anything's wrong with them. I can understand why people like like the gimmicky side, but I find it really uncomfortable to watch 3D movies. I don't like the glasses on my face and I don't know, I just feel like it's taking away and putting something in between the screen and me. I don't mind 3D movies as long as it does not take away from the actual movie itself. If I have to go see a 3D movie, I would normally take off the glasses and just watch the movie blur, like it's all blurry and I'm fine with that. It's not the ideal way to watch a movie, but 3D movies are fine as long as they're gimmicky, like with Piranha 3D. If they're not going for the gimmicky 3D effect, as long as it does not take away from the storyline and the plot and I felt like it did with this movie. I can tell you there's a few instances, spoiler alert, <laughs> when the movie first opens up the kid's like playing a game on his phone or iPad, something like that, there's that and then when they go into the alternate reality or the alternate universe or limbo, whatever you want to call it, there's just like this part where all these people are like reaching across and I saw the film in 2D but I know that that was for the 3D effect. So when I know that I'm watching something that is intended to be watched in 3D, that's when I know that the 3D is just taking away from the storyline. So all that aside, um, even if that was not included, it seemed like the movie was a bit rushed. There was parts where it slowed right down and they would talk about, you know, the financial struggles of the family, um, little things, little aspects here and there, and then they would never go and like reconnect with that and there would never be a payoff to it. So they spent a lot of time showing that the family was struggling and that the father had lost his job. He went out and bought them presents. It was like a big thing, but it has nothing to do with the poltergeist, nothing to do with what the actual film is about. You know what I'm talking about, like classic example signs when everything in that movie that you think is a small deal, she doesn't like finishing a drink of water. Turns out that it's fate or coincidences or something like that, but it has a payoff. You know what I mean? I feel like it also skimmed over the whole development of the poltergeist and the activity in the house. They went from focusing on the family, the struggles within the family, the dad losing his job, and then it went straight into crazy poltergeist action. And I like it to develop. And that's where I kind of lost the charm of the original film. In the original film, they found these little quirks about the house and as I'll mention later, um, in the kitchen scene where the mother discovers something like, weird's going on, she's not scared and that's really what I loved about the original film was their reaction to the ghosts. It's not like any other horror movie I've seen. So it's kind of sad it didn't have that and it didn't have that lead up, which I think is one of the reasons the original Poltergeist was so popular is because the way that it was tackled when the family found out they were in a haunted house. Which brings me to the most disappointing part of the movie for me, which was they didn't include the kitchen scene. Um, and I think this is like a famous iconic scene when she's sliding the kid across the floor and something weird's going on and she is not scared by it. The mother thinks it's strange, but she is almost more curious than she is scared. So I was kind of upset that there was no kitchen scene. There was a little scene with the boy and the cards, but it all happened so fast. They should have really focused on that instead of their whole beginning part. They should have focused on developing the poltergeist in their house and when it became a problem. Because it literally went from them moving to the house, the husband loses the job, and then the kid is trapped in limbo. The other scene that I was really disappointed that they didn't include was the pool scene where there's the skeleton in like the muddy pool part. Um, that scene is very iconic as well because it is known for the original movie where it is rumored that they actually used a real human skeleton. So it was really disappointing that they didn't even try to kind of nod to that or recreate it in any kind of way. Um, I thought that's a really crucial scene from the original. In saying all of this, I think it would have been better as a standalone movie than a remake. Uh, they took certain elements, but I mean, Haunted House is a haunted house these days. Why not put a spin on it and make it your own instead of getting rights to a remake and then not doing it justice? 
I'd be interested to hear what people say if they haven't seen the original film, um, but in saying that, when we were sitting in the theatre, I did hear some people next to me talk about how it was a lot like Insidious, and they're like, oh my god, this is just like Insidious. Obviously they didn't realise it was a remake, but it's totally a valid comment, so that was kind of interesting for me. Overall, I give it a personal score of 5 out of 10. It wasn't the worst thing ever, but I was kind of bored. It was very average. Scare score I'm going to give it 5 because there was some jump scares, you know, just some last minute in your face. It wasn't scary scary, but it was like something falls or someone pops out and I mean ice cream during one part, which is quite usual for me. <laughs> and originality I'm going to have to give it a 1 because it was not original, it did not put a twist on the remake, it did not make it any better, um, and it did not bring any modern twist to it, it was just same for the same without remaking all the cool scenes which make the original so good. Hope you guys enjoyed this and it was helpful for you. Please share this video with someone who loves horror movies as well and I'll see you guys later. Stay spooky. It's a whole bunch of crazy characters including Adolf Hitler um, who try and stop the killer tomatoes. The budget estimated for this film is 90k and the tagline is ah.